guys so welcome back to my channel once again and today I am going to do this look it was requested and um, I had it in one of my haul videos recently and somebody asked if I could do a tutorial so um, basically I'm gonna use the wet n wild color icon palette and this one is in lust desire or deceit I'm not sure how you say it but a really nice purple palette um, I'll be re doing a review on this but this is the look, so just stay tuned. Bye. So first I'm going to start off by applying my Ulta Professional Eye Primer. I'm going to apply that all over the lid just to prevent any creasing throughout the day. Especially because today I'm going to be using some matte eyeshadows and with matte eyeshadows you generally um, get a little bit of creasing more than with other um, finishes. So I'm just going to apply that all over the lid and a little bit under the lower lash line. Now once that has dried, I'm going to apply my NYX eyeshadow base in white. And it looks like this. Just going to use my finger and I'm going to apply that just all over the lid again. And you don't need too much, a little goes a long way. You don't want to cake it on. And again, apply a little under the lower lashes. So I'm going to take my Wet n Wild. Um, color icon palette and this one is in um, Lust, I'm not sure if it's Lust Desir or Deceed. Anyway, it's this one here. These have really, really nice colors. So, first I'm going to apply uh, this pink here. It's a very, very light pink. And I'm going to take my Revlon contour brush looks like this. I'm just gonna get a little bit of that pink and I'm going to apply it right above in the crease and above the crease. So just like that. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna use my Sonia Kashuk. I think this is a contour brush or um a crease brush, I'm not sure, I forgot what the name is. But I'm going to take a little bit of that purple and I'm going to apply it starting in the outer corner and just work your way up into the crease. You want to pat the majority of the product on the outer corner because mattes can be hard to um, blend really well so you want to Pack it on in the outer corner and then just work your way in. Just really blend it in really well. I'm going to apply some down here to make that outer V. And then just work your way into the middle of the lid, but you want it to gradually get lighter as you go in. So if you get more product, add it to the outer corner, and then work your way in. So next I'm going to take this dark, deep purple right here. I'm going to take my Essence of Beauty crease brush. It looks like this. Taking some of that dark purple, I'm going to pack it onto the outer corner. Making that V again. Just I'm d darkening up the outer corner is what I'm doing. And then blend it inward.
I'm going to do is I'm going to take that other purple that I used earlier, this one here. I'm going to take my Sonia Cash Shook brush again, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that color, like, next to the darker purple, just so it, like, gradually, you know, the purple to get a little lighter. So I'm going to take this color right here, and it's like a black eyeshadow with like some some tiny little purplish fuchsia reflex. And I'm going to take that same uh, crease brush that I used. It's the Essence of Beauty one. I'm going to take a little bit of that product, not too much. It has a little sparkles in it, a little sh uh, reflex, so I want to apply that on the outer corner. I don't even know if you guys can see the sparkle on camera, but they're there. Just blend it in. I'm going to take my uh, Sonia Kashuk brush again and I'm just going to kind of blend right here in the mid portion of my lid. I'm going to take this pink color again that we used earlier and I'm going to take this um, Studio Tools smudge brush. I'm going to take that matte pink and I'm going to apply it right here in the inner corner. I you work out. No, I'm here doing the video. And really just blend it in with the darker shades. I'm going to take my Revlon contour brush that I used in the very beginning. I'm going to take that light pink again. And I'm going to apply that right above all the other shades. Blend it really well. Okay, so now I'm going to take that uh, sparkly black, I know it doesn't look black, but once you start applying it, it, it is pretty black. So I'm going to take my Essence of Beauty small crease brush, and I'm going to, it's more like a pencil brush, and I'm going to apply that right on the lower lash line. You want it to meet up with the outer corner over here so it like flows together nicely. So then using that same brush I'm going to take this purple here and I'm just going to apply that kind of over the top. So next um, I'm going to take this like cream off-white color and I'm going to take a Face Secrets eye contour brush which I got at Sally's and I'm going to apply my that color right under my brow bone as a highlight. So next I'm going to take my Sephora Flashy Waterproof Eyeliner and this one is in Flashy Green And it looks like this. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to apply that right on the upper lash line. Let me get out a little bit. So taking that off white color again, I'm going to use the same brush for the highlight. Just gonna get the very corner of the brush and I'm gonna apply that in the inner tear duct area. Let's 
So that is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys like it. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.